On Thursday, February 15th, Pikeville Medical Center electrophysiologist Dr. Joseph Souza performed the fifth advanced atrial fibrillation procedure in the nation. The procedure makes use of a new technology known as pulse field ablation and is proven to be more efficient than traditional surgery with less drawbacks. Dr. Souza tells us more about it. So with pulse field ablation, we can get uh, success rates that are as good or better than currently with current systems, but the major advantage is that all the major complications that are potentially lethal, those that are very, very infrequent but a disaster for a patient when they occur, those seem to be eliminated with pulse field ablation. So we seem to have a technology where our success rates are as good or better than they used to be but the complication rates for particularly difficult and disastrous problems seems to be at an all-time low. So this would be the advantage. The technology is approved for both atrial fibrillation that comes and goes, otherwise known as paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, but it's also been used in patients with more persistent atrial fibrillation. Appalachian Wireless is spreading the love all month long, offering $500 off select devices on the Appalachian Advantage or nationwide mix and match plans. Plus, new lines get an additional $100 off because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The recovery process is also quick and easy. For those dealing with atrial fibrillation, PMC can now confidently recommend this procedure. Recovery is fairly easy, so we typically have people at bed rest for four to five hours. Uh, after that, we get them up walking around, then uh, if if we finish early enough in the day, we try to get most folks home by the end of the day. Do's and don'ts when you get home, really no heavy lifting, greater than 10 pounds or so, and no driving for the first three days so you don't put any undue pressure on the groin for bleeding. But beyond that, typically um, same medication and no other restrictions. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.